Welcome to two-time Super Bowl champ Bryant McFadden. Raiders win the Hall of Fame game. A couple of storylines to talk about. Number one pick, edge rusher Trayvon Walker, called for roughing the passer on the first play of the game. Next drive comes back, gets a sack. BMAC, what did you see from the former Georgia Bulldog in his first preseason game? Well, what I saw based on the scheme, we all know how they plan on using Trayvon within their defense. He will be an outside rusher. When you look at his size, his measurables, his speed, his athleticism, especially when he just understands and grasps that position, he's going to be a problem. I love the way he utilizes his energy. Uh, that sack you talked about, Hakeem, was mostly all about hustling, not giving up on the play. Uh, the pocket collapsed. The quarterback tried to escape a little bit. And voila, Trayvon was able to be where he needed to be because of his uh, relentless uh, pursuit to the football. So this was just an opportunity to really see exactly how number 44 will look in their offense. Like I said, he was primarily lining up uh, to the right side of the defense and, and, and as an edge rusher. I think that's something they visualize him being throughout his professional career, a guy that can be a stand-up, uh, impactful rusher, or a guy that can put his hand in the dirt and move all throughout the defensive line on the front. So I think this was a, just a glimpse, quick glimpse of what we can, what we potentially will see from number 44. No Trevor Lawrence or Travis Etienne for the Jaguars. No Derek Carr or Devontae Adams uh, for the Raiders. But starting running back Josh Jacobs was out there. Raiders not picking up his fifth-year option. That certainly motivated him. He said that as much uh, throughout training camp. Vegas drafted Zamir White. Got a look at him in this game. 11 carries for 52 yards. Had a nice 19-yard pickup on a screen pass showing uh, – how slippery he can be. Unfortunately, Kenyon Drake got injured in this game, coming off a broken ankle uh, last season. BMAC, what's the potential if this backfield stays healthy with Jacobs, Drake, and Zamir White? Well, when you look at Josh Jacobs, a former first-round selection, uh, he's still trying to submit himself within this organization under this new coaching staff. And that's why we saw him playing as much as he did. Usually, Hakeem, you know this about uh, preseason football. When you're that established running back, you're not playing, especially in a Hall of Fame-like game. But we saw Josh Jacob play at least two to three series, if not mistaken. And he also ran the football pretty well. Uh, he understands that his job is not safe. He's not solidified in becoming the starting running back. So he has to earn it throughout camp. And he took this challenge on, and he did extremely well, in my opinion. I think looking at Kenyon Drake, the same can be said for him, Amir Abdullah. And then you talked about the rookie and Zamir White, who was Zamir White, who ran the football well. Right now, they're utilizing this process, in my opinion, the staff that is, and trying to see and dissect exactly who should make this team at the running back positions. And all the running backs, they understand that, and they're willing to take on that challenge. All right, big picture here. Do you think we could see – Josh McDaniels use his running backs like he and Bill Belichick did in New England where they ride the hot hand. Potentially, that won't be good for any fantasy owner that believe uh, they will select a running back from the, the Raiders because we know how annoying that can be because any given game, it could be a different guy as the feature guy and it's all about the hot hand. But I would not be surprised to see that mindset uh, being transitioned to the Raiders based on Josh McDaniels coming from the Patriots and seeing how they always rotated the running backs and you never could really pinpoint on who the guy will be. But I can tell you this much from what we saw tonight in this first preseason game, they did a great job in setting the tone at the line of scrimmage offensively and the running backs they all did a good job in running with a physical mindset and delivering the blow and being positive with every carry they were able to get. I like how you weaved in the fantasy aspect right there because you know we're all playing <laughs> and we're all thinking about that because we're like, ooh, if they do this three-headed monster thing like we've seen in New England, it's like who you're going to play. I mean, sometimes you play this guy, sometimes you play that guy. You never know sometimes. Josh McDaniels, Bill Belichick always keeping you guessing. Uh, meantime, uh, BMAC not keeping us guessing. He gives us the straight answers. Raiders and Jags will play each other in the regular season week nine in Jacksonville. BMAC, thanks. Appreciate uh, the insight here as football is back. That's the takeaway. A couple of storylines uh, from the preseason game. Trayvon Walker uh, saw some flashes there and Zamir White. Uh, showing his potential uh, for the Vegas Raiders. Uh, look, preseason football is here, and uh, week one begins next week. And next Thursday, we've got the preseason ATS King in action. That's John Harbaugh uh, as the Ravens host the Titans. Harbaugh has led Baltimore to a record 20 straight preseason wins, including an 18-1-1 ATS record. Pete Carroll also good against the number in the preseason, 36-20. Seahawks visit the Steelers on Saturday.
And hey, check out BMAC on his podcast, All Things Covered, with former LSU star and Vikings corner Patrick Peterson. It's entertaining. It's engaging. They talk to some of the biggest names in both the sports and entertainment worlds. All Things Covered. Download and follow today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.